rain. Let's start with a beautiful look outside. Yeah. The sun's not rising quite yet. Yes. It'll tomorrow. be a while. Tomorrow it will be. <laughs> tomorrow it will. <laughs> Gotta love this whole time change thing. I know. It's beautiful, though, it for is. the weekend. We have some showers in the overall outlook, comfortably mild temperatures, and a wonderful fall breeze. <laughs> Outside we go, Daytona Beach. Uh, it's beautiful. It's dark. It's early. Temperatures in the upper 60s there. We're the same in Orlando, mid-70s down into Brevard County. And our first warning, live Doppler radar, showing some offshore showers that are trying to sneak ashore here from about 192 south. So just like yesterday, we're going to keep some rain in the forecast. Just one of those things we'll have to deal with. Wide perspective showing yesterday's cluster of clouds kind of dissipating as it works over to the nature coast, but there's all of that energy there. Clouds and even some showers that'll be sneaking in today. So our 12 hour forecast is showing kind of a rising opportunity for rain. It's not a washout, but there will be showers around 30, 40, 50% coverage through the afternoon as temperatures climb into the lower range of the 80s. So here's future cast. All right, 11 o'clock this morning. Those those Brevard showers continue, but into the afternoon we start to see more and more of them sneaking inland. I think our future cast models kind of underdoing it a little bit. I think we're going to see probably a little bit greater coverage of this, but the idea is there and that's certainly the takeaway showers coming in off the Atlantic waters. So lots of events around Central Florida. It's a second to last home game for UCF. It's a space game, a nice breeze for tailgating, but there will be the chance for some rain during the game. I'll bring the ponchos just to be safe as I head out that direction. HSR in Daytona Beach is looking great. A nice breeze and of course there's fall fiesta in the park in downtown Orlando gets going around 10 o'clock today. I think even into tonight it looks great, but there is the potential to see some rain around. All right, to the tropics we go. Uh, unorganized area of moisture here near Puerto Rico. That probably doesn't get too strong. It's going to get absorbed into a broader and stronger area of low pressure that should form in the Caribbean and try to work into the Gulf of Mexico. For now, Hurricane Center giving that an 80% chance, a high likelihood of developing over the next seven days' time and a 50% likelihood of forming the next two days' time. Computer models think that this moves into the Gulf of Mexico, but they haven't done dialed into where some models are taking it toward the panhandle. Some models are taking it over toward Texas and uh, Mexico. The good news is there's a lot of wind shear out here, so almost all models are taking it into the Gulf as some sort of a tropical system and then succumbing to wind shear. So whatever it is looks to be fairly weak, but we do have to watch with Patty named in the North Atlantic today. Next name would be Rafael. Let's hope we don't have to deal with Rafael or Donatello or Leonardo. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference. Anyway, Central Florida certified most accurate seven day forecast showing a few showers to the next couple of days. I think rain chances really do go up Wednesday, Thursday as there's a lot of moisture in play. But for now, we're not looking too bad. No cold fronts in the vicinity whatsoever. And just a reminder, yeah, we fall back at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's sunrise 639 tomorrow's sunset. 538.